Hello there, and as usual, I'm here for my Stan Gamers, and welcome. So today, I'm just going to quickly show you a very simple system, how you can get supplies from outer space into a planet, into your supply base, very, very quickly. Something that I kind of felt is very similar to the CNC Generals, if you've ever played that, where they drop the money on them little care package plates and it generates cash and income for the US forces. Well, it's pretty similar to that. The only difference is this allows us to drop our resources, say we've mined in space. I personally find mining in space a lot easier than mining on a planet. So you mine your resources and it comes to delivering them back to the outpost. Now, usually you'd have to break, obviously, through the atmosphere, come all the way down to your station that's somewhere down on the ground, dock it, and then use all the resources to get back up in there, especially if you're running a hydrogen base ship. Now, this is a little bit easier way. You could just pop yourself into the atmosphere so there's enough gravity acting on the crate. Once that's done, you can release this care package following the laser. I'll show you that in the system. So I've just parked this up at the top. This is the crate that I've designed. It's, it's so simple and so quick. That's why I wanted to try to make it happen for you guys so you don't have to follow some really highly technical design. It's just a merge block on the side with the ship. This will drop straight down and merge with your base below. And it will follow a little bit of a projector-based laser. So down here, I have myself on this platform. And of course, when you're ready, you can also just activate this via remote control. You just activate the button, it powers up the laser, so if there's other people in the area, they're going to be able to spot this, but you can also just turn it off when you're finished. So that's actually designated the laser onto that point, and the laser could go all the way up out of the atmosphere. I've just done it for this particular height. The most important bit is you have to align it with that square. So you can see at this moment we are slightly off with the square, so if we bring our character up here, like he would be aboard this ship, we want to make a slight movement, so one back, and we want to adjust it ever so slightly upwards. So we're just lining that block, the parachute block, with the actual crate itself. And then all we have to do is switch back to our spectator mode. And we release the crate. So you can see the crate releases. The parachute block will all open automatically. Now don't worry about the actual block shifting on this current axis. The great thing about the merge block, it has quite a lot of room for error. So you can see this, the crate has not actually opened the parachute at this moment in time. But you can see how it's descending at a sort of constant speed down that laser line. That's just a projector block. And that is allowing us to dock with this particular object. Now, of course, you could pimp this out even further. You could have a connector on one of these sides of the container. And when it decides to land down that laser sort of tube, you could have the connector instantly connect up and pipe things into your station. But in this current model, this is a really simple one. I'll show you a more complex one in a moment. You can see it just comes up to that position. Merge block activates and then it usually just wobbles into place like so. So then it's merged together and the connector can come dock and activate all of the ore inside. Just a very simple system and you can activate it from as high or as low as you want. And you can build whatever sort of ship you want to actually do this. And it just adds another level of construction to your ship, giving it another sort of movable part rather than having a ship that comes down, just docks and pulls all the things out of the conveyor. Just another fun thing you can do in Space Engineers. Anyway, let's decorate the landing pad, make it look a bit cooler, and we'll try a drop from a higher altitude. So now that I've shown you the basic version, I've dolled everything up and made it work a little bit more functional. So it's quite simple, this resupply system now. We've got ourselves a crate, we've got ourselves a connector now on the side so we can instantly resupply, and I've centralized the parachute on top of that. One thing I also changed, instead of deploying the parachute straight away, leaving this crate very vulnerable for someone to spot it as it's drifting down slowly, I've set the deployment radius to 150 meters, requiring me to actually stick a reactor on it to activate the parachute instead of activating it up here, making it a little bit more complicated. And if we go all the way down to where the laser's deploying, I've just decided that it'd be a bit more sneaky if I decided to hide the laser and the receiver of the crate underground. So what I've done is just added a sensor, so when the crate goes past, it'll automatically push out this piston, and it should connect it up, doing it pretty much automatically. All I have to do is actually drop it from the top. So let's go back up, and let's attempt a drop. So we drop the crate, we're gonna pop ourselves out, and we're gonna follow it down with our spaceman so we don't get any weird disappearing glitches like we got before. So let's go a little bit lower down. You can see that speed is very good from a distance. It's going to be hard to spot because it's dropping down extremely fast. You could obviously camouflage it if you want it to go a bit faster. And at 150 meters, just above the entrance, it should deploy the chute. Chute deployed perfectly. And now it's going to wiggle down into position. So you can see we've got a big parachute. This is when it's most vulnerable for someone to spot it. So you want this time to be as, well, 
less as possible. So let's actually get ourselves inside here. This is extending out, and this should push it a little bit into position. Okay. Okay, oh god, it's pushed it too far, and it's broken off. Right, we, re we I need to recalculate that. But you've got the basic idea of how this system could work. If Aaron decided to actually calculate the piston properly, then it would have connected up perfectly first time. I should have measured it, shouldn't I? I decided not to measure it, and that's the result of not measuring. But we've got our connector dropped into position, and it's quite concealed by the boxes. So the last step would be to do here was to simply turn off our receiver, like so. And from a distance, there's not much sort of notice of that crate actually being dropped into that location. The ship can simply fly away and continue its mining operation. Actually, looking back on that area, I'm struggling to actually see where it was. Oh, there it is. I've spotted it now. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Just a simple idea of how you can get your supplies planet side quite quickly, stealthily, and in a fun manner.